guys and welcome back. Um, I filmed this video yesterday, but I kind of hated it, hated the vibes, wasn't, wasn't digging the vibes. Um, so I'm redoing it. Um, not eating the same thing, obviously, because that would be boring. Um, but I got me some Wendy's food. And what I'm going to do is take my normal chicken sandwich and I'm holding it with a napkin because it's like burning my hand. Um, and I asked for a side of the avocado um, that they use for their one of their salads um, to put on it because that was just sounding really good to me and kind of extra. Sorry, you guys. Um, so I'm going to put that on the chicken sandwich and I got a um, potato for my side instead of fries because like I know it's still potatoes but it just feels like a better option in my head so that's what we're doing you know it's my fourth day of work I work four days on and four days off so today is my last day of work and I'm about to be um, off for a little bit again I have my shirt kind of like crazy because I'm really hot and I can't turn my air conditioner super high up or that's all you will hear so try not to pay attention to that but now that I've pointed it out like you probably will pay attention to it um sorry just wanted to talk about the elephant in the room um it's a regular plaid like flannel shirt but I have it kind of off to like free up one armpit of heat I don't know what you call that. So this is what I did, still holding with a napkin because it's like burning my fingertips off. Um, but it's an avocado. Thanks. That will always be one of my favorite finds. Always and forever. I got a ginger ale because I always drink ginger ale. Where's my straw? Ew, I don't want y'all to have to see me like awkwardly slurp it out. I really don't know. I'm sure it's like under my butt. Haven't moved, but somehow it always ends up under there. You're really gonna bug me, you guys. I found it. Woo! Um, much better. I don't know if you're supposed to mix avocado and ketchup, I don't know if that's bad etiquette but I love dipping these sandwiches in ketchup today is my cheat day I've ate a salad and healthy dinners for the last like almost a week um, and I felt like if I didn't do a little bit of a cheat meal today I was gonna go on full force like Skittles um, sour cream and onion chips like the whole nine yards so I'm giving myself like a little bit of a cheat so I don't completely lose it you know what I mean so take my little ketchup There's like three cars at the park, but like literally no people on the playground or walking the track or in any of the little like awning buildings, the hut things. So I just want to know where they're at. <laughs> like, where'd you go? I don't know if I said this, but it is Sunday. Happy Sunday, you guys. I hope you're taking a nap for me. 
because Sundays are for naps and I really want one so bad right now. So like this video if you took a nap on Sunday for me. That would be so appreciated. Somebody has to enjoy it if I can't. That's all I'm saying. So me and Justin, as I kind of mentioned a second ago, didn't mention Justin, but me and Justin are trying to eat better together. We haven't been together per se the past few days because he tries to work his nights when I work my four days. So we haven't been physically eating together. He's going a little more hardcore than me because he's trying to like completely cut out like salt and that just like ain't my vibe. I will not be able to sustain that at all. Like sodium is my favorite thing in the world and although I may cut down on it, completely cutting it out ain't the vibe. That is not the vibe. Like if that's the healthy life. I don't want to live it because that's sad. I just want to let y'all know, spicy chicken sandwich with avocado added on it with ketchup is so good. I just came up with just a killer sandwich. So here's the deal. We don't have a lot of food places in Taylorsville as it is. I work in Taylorsville, by the way. And on Sundays, it's even worse because everywhere's closed. <clears throat> so Scotty's is closed. Apple City Barbecue's closed. I'm pretty sure Kodo's is still open on Sundays, but I haven't ate there in a while. My stomach has not been able to handle Japanese food here lately it's made me really nauseous so I haven't went in a while but I'm pretty sure they're still open on Sundays but other than that you have way less than state school you have a Wendy's a Bojangles a McDonald's and then it has one of those half Taco Bell half KFC kind of deals And being that I don't want to be <laughs> my brains out while I'm at work, Taco Bell is not the move <clears throat> for me. You know, everybody's digestive system is different, but I'm pretty sure Taco Bell is one of those places that kind of hits everybody the same, if you know what I mean. I promise you there are like at least eight to ten spots between me and the other car and this motorcycle guy parks right beside me. Why? He had like a phone mount on his like motorcycle steering like handlebars that is nifty i have never in my life like i don't ride motorcycles i think they're terrifying and a death wish but that's pretty cool i just realized i had my foot on the brake that whole time and i've been in park so if you saw us like shake it's because why was i doing that i don't know You know what's even more strange is the fact that he parked right beside me and the people he met are all the way down. 
Like, maybe he doesn't want to park near people and get his, like, motorcycle scratched or whatever. But I promise parking beside me was not the choice. Because driving... <clears throat> I'm not going to lie to you. is not one of my strong suits. Like, I got scratches all over my car. Like, I just hit stuff all the time. Normally, it's my garage door. I've hit that a few times. Like, not the door itself, but, like, the garage opening. Like, I back out and cut it too close. And there had been some damage because of that. And this is why my boyfriend will not let me drive this truck. Like, ever. Like, not even to the mailbox, probably, because I would probably not get it out of the garage without scuffing it up or something. I have a scratch, like, not even a scratch. It's, like, a pretty hard dent um, into the side of my rims. Justin said they're not going to be able to be buffed out, but I'm in denial about it. Like, I'm just not in a point to accept that yet because I don't even want to know how expensive like one rim would be to replace like Toyota factory rims I don't know um so that's sad how where did I do that that one was actually not my fault though okay so that one the one of the houses down my road had their um trash can too far out like they put their trash can on the curb this guy was just watching me um they put their trash can on the curb to like be picked up or whatnot and um they had it too far out it was like legit hanging into the side of the road and so i hit it and i was going like 35 40 miles per hour and like <clears throat> and so I was I was like hot about that one I was pretty angry um, because I felt as if that one was not my fault and I don't know how I did not knock their trash can like completely over it still stood up like that was a hard hit like I don't know what those trash cans are made of but when I tell you like it, it jolted me it was a jolt, you guys. Um, yeah, so I was mad. And I actually didn't look at the side of my car because it, like, scratched the whole side of my car, I thought. Um, I actually didn't look at my car on the side for, like, a few days because I was determined that, like, if I don't look at it, like, it didn't happen. Like, I'm not going to have all this damage. Like... So, I didn't look at it, and then it ended up not being as bad as I thought. So, the only place it's really messed up is, I think, like, a little, like, scuff on my car, which could probably be buffed out. Um, and then my rim is, like, completely, like, demolished. It's just, like, a huge, a huge scrape all the way into it. Um, but, what do you do about it? Like, I can't knock on the door and be like yo i hit your freaking trash can like why did you have it so far out i mean that's what i wanted to be like but it's always something you guys like it really is they didn't like did you guys i'm gonna have to rewatch this did i get this out of like a package i'm sure it wasn't just like uh oh so it came in a package, but did it not have salt and pepper? Because I really need salt and pepper for my potato. Told you. Sodium problem. Mmm. Wendy's potatoes are always kind of a hit and miss, like not consistent, but when they're good, they're good. They're good. I am having an appointment on Wednesday 
with um, Morgan Weston. She does hair. I never knew her before I started doing makeup and we just so happened to be um, booked for the same weddings twice. Not, not the same person getting married twice, but. Two different weddings, but we were both booked. Like I was the makeup artist, she was the hairstylist. Anyways, I have an appointment with her on Wednesday. She's super nice. Um, for um, my extensions consultation. I'm so excited, you guys. Like my hair, believe it or not, is one of my biggest insecurities. It's so thin, and like, don't even come at me with why do you keep coloring your hair if it's so thin like I promise you it's always been thin like that's just the hair type I have so I just wear it up all the time because I feel like when I wear it down it's just it just hangs like it doesn't have a shape it's just like just kind of there you know what I mean so I'm so excited I am having a consultation with her on Wednesday for extensions um tape-ins i believe is what we were thinking i think that's kind of she does pretty positive on that actually and i messaged her and i'm gonna ask her if i can film for you guys to kind of show you the process because i find those videos to be so interesting so like this video and comment down below if that's something you would want to see <clears throat> but i'm super excited because if i was to get a little more fullness and length I think I would wear my hair down more and feel overall better about myself. More maintenance, of course, but I'm just so excited for the possibility of feeling good about my hair. And I told her, I was like, girl, if this like turns out the way I'm hoping, like you are gonna be a lifesaver, truly. She is so nice. She is not. The person I get to um, normally do my hair, like coloring. Um, the person who normally does my hair is Frida Maxa. She is a um, fellow YouTuber. That's actually how I found her. And then she just happened to be um, Charlotte based. And I was like, whoa, I, like, there's not a lot of YouTubers that, that I've ran upon that have been local. So I messaged her and got booked because I was like, she seems so awesome. Like, I want to meet her. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm not one of those clients that like is a client, like a stylist hopper. But I already um, talked to Frida. She doesn't do extensions. So that is why I'm seeing Morgan. But also 10 out of 10 support Morgan as well. She does awesome work. So, stay tuned for that. Um, so, I think that was fun to just kind of chat it up with you guys. I hope you're having a blessed day. Like I said, you better be napping for me. Because, I promise you. Nice, like, midday, two-hour nap right now. Mm, I just want it so bad. Um... Anyways, like I said, as always, don't forget to comment if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!